Good morning. It is Thursday, May 23rd, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, I've got details about a Eucharistic procession in Ann Arbor. But first, your local weather and this news. Attorney General Dana Nessel yesterday released a report into clergy sexual abuse in the Diocese of Kalamazoo. The report said there were 19 priests accused of sexual misconduct between the diocese's founding and this year. Two priests have been charged as a result of Nessel's investigation, one of which is serving a prison sentence and the other reportedly died while awaiting extradition from India. Here's Bishop Edward Losey. You were entrusted to our care and we failed to protect you. There is no other way to put it. For that failure, I am deeply sorry. Bishop Losey had released a list of names of priests and lay people barred from working with children in the diocese earlier this year. The Attorney General's report does not make a statement on credibility on any of the events detailed in the document. A.G. Nessel says the next reports to come out in this order are Lansing, Grand Rapids, Saginaw, and Detroit. In election news, the Detroit Regional Chamber is canceling the bipartisan U.S. Senate debate that was planned for May 30th after leading candidates refused to take part. Democrat Alyssa Slotkin and Republican Mike Rogers are leading the race and declined to participate in the event at the Mackinac Policy Conference. The chamber released a statement saying the refusal to take part in the forum is a concerning trend in today's political dynamic. The parents of Oxford high school shooter Ethan Crumbly are denying his request for help appealing his life sentence. He had asked for access to James and Jennifer Crumbly's pre-sentencing reports, which are relevant in his appeal. The reports allegedly contain details about Ethan's home life growing up. The attorney for James Crumbly wrote Ethan could provide his legal team with those details himself without the reports. James and Jennifer Crumbly were sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison in separate trials on involuntary manslaughter charges. Four students were killed in the 2021 shooting. Teachers in the Troy School District have been working under an expired contract since February 1st, and they want a new deal with better pay. Troy Education Association's Sarah Ritter was among those picketing outside Tuesday night's school board hearing. Right now, mass exodus and we are losing our our brand new or our even our our mid-level teachers that that you know those are our talent that that's our future the school district and the tea have had four bargaining sessions in the past month and 15 sessions to date both sides have agreed to use a mediator to settle the contract and that first mediation session was yesterday this is michigan mornings from ave maria radio your weather's next Now this. The leading Catholic voices are on EWTN Radio. We want listeners to see that God has a unique and unrepeatable plan for their lives and how to rejoice in the work God's doing in their hearts and in their homes. God wants to set us free to live more abundantly. More to Life explores what that really looks like, living it out in our everyday life and relationships. More to Life with Dr. Greg and Lisa Popchak. In the Motor City today, we will have sunny skies with highs near 80. Tonight will be mostly clear and our temperatures will dip to around 60. Tomorrow we'll have mostly sunny skies and highs in the lower 80s. Saturday we'll have some scattered rain and thunderstorms into the early afternoon. Our highs will be in the lower 80s. Sunday will be partly sunny with highs in the upper 70s. In the Saginaw Valley today, we will have sunny skies and highs around 80. Tonight, we'll have clear skies and lows in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, expect sunny skies and highs in the lower 80s. Saturday, we can't rule out some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highs will be in the mid-70s. Sunday, we've got a chance of showers in the afternoon. Highs will be in the mid-70s. St. Mary's Student Parish in Ann Arbor is leading a Eucharistic procession for the local deanery. 
Father Kyle Shinseki, pastor of St. Mary's, joined Teresa Tamio on Catholic Connection to share the details. Corpus Christi, which is, as you know, right. June 2nd, mm-hmm. uh, Sunday, June 2nd, we're having a procession here in Ann Arbor. And so it'll start at 6.15 p.m. on Sunday at St. Mary Student Parish, which is located here at 331 Thompson Street. And then we'll be processing through the University of Michigan campus, through downtown Ann Arbor, and then we'll be completing the procession at St. Thomas Parish. And so this is a collaborative effort, really, of six parishes in our Ann Arbor deanery. So St. John the Baptist, St. Joseph in Ypsilanti, Christ the King, St. Francis, St. Thomas, and St. Mary Student Parish in Ann Arbor. So we're really looking forward to having this this collaborative event with all of our this new deanery, as which as you know the deaneries and diocese of Lansing came into effect last July. So this is the first time we're going to do an event of, of this um, type with all of our six parishes together. So we're looking forward to that. One detail to mention too is that there is for those who aren't familiar with downtown Arbor, there's free parking on Sundays available in the municipal parking garage, which is right next door to St. Mary Student Parish. Why are Eucharistic processions important? First, to just start with our own. You know, fellow, uh, you know, Catholic brothers and sisters, that um, we've we've seen sadly that there has been a decrease in the belief in the real presence of in, of Jesus in the Eucharist. That His body, blood, soul, and divinity are truly present in the Eucharist. And so, um, this year of the Eucharistic the Eucharistic revival that we're in the midst of right now, I think, is is really this effort to really renew this and deepen this understanding of what it means that our Lord truly is present in the Eucharist. And so first, I think, to reinforce our own beliefs as Catholics, but also to be able to go out into the streets and to witness publicly to our faith. Listen to Catholic Connection weekdays at 8 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. St. Athanasius says we acknowledge the Trinity, holy and perfect, to consist of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In this trinity, there is no intrusion of any alien element or of anything from outside, nor is the trinity a blend of creative and created being. It is wholly creative and energizing reality, self-consistent and undivided in its active power. For the Father makes all things through the Word and in the Holy Spirit, and in this way the unity of the Holy Trinity is preserved. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. You can stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley. Be sure to stay tuned to Ave Maria Radio throughout the day for more inspiring and engaging Catholic talk radio. Lord willing, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.